Alright, your services are done now, Whitney. <laughs> so hello everyone and welcome to an episode on Pokemon. Well, mainly the trading cards, but I thought I'd just showcase. Look, it's the Pokemon Live one stick. All the kids whack backwards and forwards and probably took loads of parents' eyes out when the Pokemon Live show toured in, in the US, I think it was. Never came to the UK, unfortunately. But what are we doing here today? So in, in my past, I've collected a lot of Pokemon cards. I think I've got a video on my channel back in 2015 and it was all booster boxes and all that jazz. And it, what for me was once a, you know, a little hobby of collecting the packs, the booster boxes and stuff. Stuff when I was a kid that I really, you know, you couldn't afford. You know, you'd save up all your pocket money in the 90s to get one of these, like a single booster pack. And then if you were lucky enough, you'd get a shiny because nobody cared it's about the other Pokemon cards. It was all about the shinies. At least it was for when I was a kid. I've been out in Japan. We've collected, you know, we searched for the rare cards. And now that I'm back in the UK with my Pokemon collection, I found something. This is my original, oh, hold on, first ever Pokemon folder where I put all my old cards. Um, and I've had this since I was a kid. As you can quite clearly tell, it's, uh, yeah, it's seen, it's seen better days. <laughs> this weird brown splob next to Pikachu was a fly that got in. And for some odd reason, my kid brain went, squish. <laughs> You go on the playground with your friends and you would, you know, say got need need got got, you know, sort of thing and then you would trade cards. I never played it. It was all about, you know, the shinies and what you didn't have. Also, not only did I find this, I found this thing. This is my old or a box of, you know, the Pokémon cards that I, you know, didn't really have a use for, didn't really care about. The energies and stuff like that. So, without further ado, let's have a check to see just what kind of cards are in here. Okay, you know what? I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just put them down here. And we're gonna get two big handfuls. This card right here was my first ever Pokemon card. It was at a time when I didn't know what Pokemon was, and there was a girl in my class when I was about six years old, and her brother had got one of these, and she didn't know what to do with it. So she's like, "Here, yeah, it's from this game." So she gave me a water energy. Um, and I was like, oh, what is this? <laughs> Especially when you're in school and you're not supposed to have things. I was like, oh, ooh, that's cool. So yeah, don't know which one is actually my first ever card, but it's probably one of those water energies. Um, straight on to Elekid. Um, shame it's been dinged in the side, dunchy. Uh, that's a bit of a bugger. Yeah, we'll put that there. There we go, on to jungle. Um, I'm gonna put the use there. Pro. A lot, of, a lot of these guys, actually. Oh, some ancient runes. So, yeah, there you go. Some commons. Another water. Yeah, I had a feeling. <laughs> it was going to be a lot of this. And then this, I think, um, yeah, it's from the Team Rocket from 2004. So after the Pokemon craze in the 90s uh, fizzled out, for me anyway, I played the first two generations. There was something, at, you know, 2004 in me that wanted to... Capture. I think we have these stages of nostalgia as we grow up. And this was me trying to recapture Pokemon for me. Uh, unfortunately, I was like, oh, I have no nostalgic tie to these cards. I don't care about it. <laughs> so that's why we have these uh, Team Rockets. I'll keep an eye out if there are any first editions in here. I'll be very surprised. Fighting energies. A lot of these. Uh, I don't even know if these are worth anything, these trainer uh, Team Rocket ones. Maybe they just came in at a time when no one really cared about Pokemon cards, so they're never worth anything. Could very well be the case. I didn't know much about it. Another jungle, a Pikachu, Spiro, Ekans. I'm, I'm looking here just in case we can find, you know, you never know. You might get that first edition one. Yeah, there's a lot of these that I went, I don't really care. Ooh, our first Team Rocket actually from the original boosters. I was going to say Spongebob. <laughs> that ain't no Spongebob. A Blaine. Hey, look at that. That's kind of cool. Team Rocket again. More old school Team Rocket. Uh, probably a yeah, bunch of energies. Fire. Yeah, just get through all of these. 
Chikorita. Ooh, that's... You know what? We're going to put that aside. That's quite a good one. We'll sleeve that later. An unknown from the ruins. Yes, we'll keep you. Come on, kid James. There's got to be something in here. Whoa, base it to psychic energy. <laughs> We've got Eevee. Oh, God, these are battered ones. Ooh. Ooh, yes. <laughs> Every now and again, I don't think I ever opened one of these packs. I think this was just traded to me. It's like, oh, that's Brock's Onyx. That's from the show. That's so cool. I don't know. It was so different to what I was used to because they were all uniform before that when I saw these sorts of cards, I was like, eh. Don't like it. Yeah, it doesn't remind me of childhood, me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, just, just get get through all of those water energies and all those magnemites because they'll all be the same. So when Pokemon really took off in price, everyone was saying, I had a bunch of Pokemon cards. I wonder if they'd be worth anything. This is what your Pokemon card collection looked like, isn't it? It was just a bunch of energies and maybe a battered Charizard that you put in your pocket because you kept it with you all the time because it was your favorite card. And because you did that, it is now worth nothing. <laughs> Metapod from the original, Vulpix from the original set, and then a Poliwag from base set two. And that is all my spare ones. So, kind of curious what's in the really, you know, the prestigious folder where I put all my favorite cards. Right, let's have a look. First page is Charizard, right? This, I did actually pull a Charizard when I was a kid. But this, and probably all of these, I bought at a market. Because when I was, you know, a couple of years later, when Pokemon wasn't really a thing or as popular as it was in the 90s, people were just flogging their cards at car boot sales, markets. And I remember seeing that. And of course, I had to pick it up. And it was only like a quid or something. And it's in pretty battered condition, as you can quite clearly tell. But what I am interested in and what I'm going to do is take out all of the cards from this folder because there's more than just one or two hidden behind these. We've got Charizard, a very beat up Charizard. <laughs> and this, yeah, it's a Typhlosion. I genuinely did pull this one. So this, oh, it's a little bit of a crease in the corner, a little dent there. That is my original. I remember when I got it thinking, I basically pulled a Charizard. <laughs> but at that time it was like, that's not a Charizard though. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll definitely keep those guys, the Charizard and the Typhlosion, the Gyarados, and Kingdra, yes! Oh, that is so crisp! Kept in such good condition! But this one, I, I can already tell what's hidden behind this. We've got a Jolteon, that again I think I bought, and a Kabu Boy! <laughs> I remember I, I did get a pack of Digimon, because, you know, Digimon was the cool one. Then I never knew what to do with it. I also didn't like that it was square. And I was like, eh, kind of just looks like it was cut out by a machine. Not that they all are. And the other one is, oh, Lapras Shiny in quite good condition. No first editions. I don't think I'm going to sleeve the Gabumon. I know I can hear you scream. Why not, Beavers? That looks amazing. But you can see right here, this Mr. Mime, there's one, two, three, and God knows how many behind that. So... I mean, this is it. I ran out of space, so when I found a good card, I just shoved it in there. Mr. Mime, unshine. Then... <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I don't I don't know why I put a hop there. Okay, anything else? <laughs> Spinner, right? And, uh... Oh! Oh, so this is the other side. We've got a Japanese Bellsprout. Again, never open a Japanese pack was just probably traded to me on the playground for something else that, I don't know, a kid needed. And I went, ah, I guess I'll take it. It's, it's a weird looking card, but all right. And then a uh, Tentomon. <laughs> oh, oh, wait, there's another one. There's a Panamon on here. And we're all full of surprises. All right, Gengar. Okay, there's only two in there. And the other side is a Team Rocket Vile Plume. Woo! Yep, definitely keep both of those. Articuno, do you have any secrets? No, but what is on the other side? It is a Sabrina's Ghastly, not Japanese. We got a Dragonite, a Palm, and then a Rapidash Jungle, and then Rookie Digimon. I don't even know if these Digimon cards are worth anything. Arika's Clefable looks way better than the Jungle Clefable, and not in bad condition. Not a first edition, but I, I don't think I ever opened a first edition pack. I'll keep that. A horsey. A another Japanese uh, Pokemon card, a Japanese drowsy. 
Um, Meramon, Golbat. And on the other side, there's two. We've got a Kadabra and a Gambler card. Hey, we're all Japanese. <laughs> okay. Oh, God. Oh, these, these are all going to be Japanese cards. Uh, Nidoqueen, uh, Sabrina's Ghastly, and a Blaine Rhyhorn. <laughs> so, I think some kid must have just given me all this Japanese cards. I don't, I don't want them. I can't read them. Uh, Kakuna and a Totodile. A different art for a Totodile. Interesting. It is definitely the same set. Yeah, 100%. Just bring those two together. We've got a 81 and an 80, so they're right next to each other. And the final one. Oh, 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 what is this? We've, oh, it's just the back of a card. It just tells you what cards came in the pack. Okay. But here, we have a drill and a Mr. Fuji. This is a promo. I don't even know where I got this from. Uh, God knows. Someone in the comments tell me. Ooh, it's not in the best condition, I'll admit. And we've got a... Oh, my God! A first, first edition! <laughs> and it's a super rod! What are the chances of that? This might have been traded to me. Right then. Okay, maybe we are in for some surprises. And yeah, these were the ones that I got from the, you know, the thing I didn't really care about. <laughs> Twinub and a Croconaut. Okay. We got Dark Muck, a Fossil Geodude, a Jungle Seeking, and another one of those uh, Giraffe Rigs. Okay. Oh, there's a couple here. Dark Magneton, a Skip Loom, the Dark Golduck, and another Giraffe Rig. I like Giraffe Rig, apparently. I was like, ooh, I like that one. Dark Weezing and a Whooper. Okay, and on the other side, there it is. That's the Mewtwo. Yeah, that's what I'm used to seeing. That's from the VHS, so definitely one to sleep. And a regular Jungle Jigglypuff. Dark Dragonair. Fossil, a mysterious fossil. Fossil. <laughs> another Dark Dragonair. A Recycle. Uh, Geodude, and there's only one on this side. Oh, no, there's two. Execute and a Mistrevious from that Team Rocket set. Come on, another first edition. Will it just be a Super Rock? I remember getting this card, and as soon as I got this card, I started sneezing uncontrollably. But I blamed this card for it because it had flowers in it. And I was like, Mom, take the card, it's made me sneeze. Kingler, we've got two cards here a Ruins Butterfree and a Krabby. Cloyster. Another Krabby and a Quilava. So if we have a Cyndaquil, we pretty much have the full set for those guys. Dark Dragonite. And on the other side is an unknown N. Oh, we're getting quite a few of those. The Duo. And on the other side, oh, an unknown I. I have so many of those cards. I don't even know if they're rare. Houndoom. Always thought these cards were cool because it was the new, you know, they put a dark card into the set when they didn't have one before. And on the other side is... Yeah, Cyndaquil. A little bit battered, but that's it. We got the full set of those guys. Nidoran male and another Eevee. <laughs> Cubone and another Cubone. We're seeing a lot of jungles. Jungle Pokeball. What next? Ruins Ammonite and <laughs> base set two. Energy. Scoop up and a Dojuo. A Mankey and a regular Ghastly. I feel like we're scraping the bottom of the barrel now. <laughs> this technically is my first Pokemon card, I think. Oh, no, it's base two, so no, it wouldn't be. But I traded in the playground my water energy for a Farfetch'd. Don't know how I did it. I had the words, apparently, to get a kid to par with this Farfetch'd for a water energy. I think I pointed at the bottom because it was 102 out of 102, and I went, look, it's a really rare card. <laughs> Abra and a Poliwhirl. Caterpie and another Abra, Machop and a Bellsprout, Parasect and a Butterfree, Vulpix and Cubone Jungle. It's the Sensor Jinx, the one that's purple. Sabrina's Venonat, uh, Brock's Lickitung, which is an interesting one. We got the Paris there, a Rattata and a Charmander. Oh, this is it. This is the final one. Oh, there's a couple of cards here. <gasps> okay, come on. Get that first edition something, Blaine. And a Paragon. <laughs> as well as Brock's looking through. And the final bunch of cards. There is something hidden behind it. Arika's Execute. And pretty much my childhood collection of what I thought would be rare Pokemon cards turned out to be after, you know, those Pokemon cards shot up in price. 
everyone, you know, got out their old Pokemon collecting booklet or whatever, had a look through and went, damn, it's all rubbish. <laughs> there will be one kid out of every neighborhood who might have, like, traded you later on your Charizard for something you might have wanted. Maybe a couple of quid and you're like, oh, well, I don't use this anymore. That guy will have everyone's Charizards. Pokemon will forever be a nostalgia beta for me. I, I look at those cards, I look at those Pokemon, and I'm taken back to a simpler time. And I'm pretty sure it goes for a lot of other people. But if you enjoyed this video, guys, leave a like. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Oh, bye bye P O K E M L A. I didn't have any good cards. Ha, 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 ha.